Hello and welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Danganronpa. When we left off, we found Mizono dead. And when now he set up, sat up, this time he saw a face. To find out whose face it is, join me next episode, because I've done that twice now. At the beginning of the episode I've gone to find out whose face it is. Carry on watching you. F what, what do you think I'm going to say? What do I think I'm going to say, more importantly? What do I think when I'm starting that sentence? Anyway, before I ramble on, a somewhat familiar face. Whose face? Whose face was it? I'm taking it, it was Kirigiri's? No? Asahina, apparently. Ah, you're finally awake. You okay? This ain't the time for an, a nice, relaxing wake-up. Hurry your ass up. What happened? Dude, you lost consciousness, Nags, so we carried you here. It is not unthinkable in such a situation. Such a... situation? <laughs> Nagy, are you sure you're okay? It wasn't a dream? That wasn't... a dream? <laughs> no, that was reality. You fucking idiot. What did you think it was? Saka Maizono is dead. A thick, slimy despair spread through my body, then burst out like an explosion. I jumped up, then ran. Where do you intend to go? Where do you think? I have to see if... I have to see if Maizono... I have to see Maizono. Everyone's already confirmed it. There is no doubt. Saka Maizono is dead. No! I'm going! He said, sit still. What's going to change if you go? What's the point in staying here? And anyway, what's everyone doing in the gymnasium at a time like this? Our friend, Maizono. She's dead. Dead. It finally hit me when that word left my mouth. Maizono is dead. We're not here of our own will, either. Then, why? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma, he told us to gather here. Of course, we objected. What are you saying? Something terrible has happened to Maizono. However, it was my suggestion. I recommended we all follow his orders for the time being. We're prisoners, are we not? There's little merit in us fighting back every step of the way. To avoid any more needless sacrifice. Why should we have to listen to what that thing tells us to do? It's obvious that he is the one that, who killed my Zono. I wouldn't do something like that. If you believe anything, believe that. You dare show your face. Unless a rule has been violated, I will not personally get involved. And I certainly wouldn't do anything that goes against the spirit of Academy life. I am famous at safari parks for being twice as stringent about the rules as other bears. But then, who killed? You already know the answer. It was one of you guys who killed Saka Maizono. At those words, we fell into complete silence. One of us killed Maizono? That's not possible. Huh? Is something wrong? Your face looks like a, 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 a dove that got mowed down like a, by a Gatling gun. Come on, didn't we already go over this? All that happened was, one of you guys killed my Zono so you could graduate. Those are the rules. There's nothing wrong with it. You're lying, yes? Of course he's lying. He's the one who killed her. Nope. The killer is one of you guys person who did the deed should know that perfectly well. Huh? Unconsciously, I looked around at everyone's faces. Everyone else was doing the same. We traded glances laced with fear, confusion and suspicion, back and forth, back and forth. Is that the truth? Who? Who killed her? My goodness, some of you still can't accept it. Shut it, I ain't buying that shit. Silence. 
while it's still here, I have something I'd like to verify with a teddy bear over there. Assuming that one of us is a really is a murderer, that person is able to graduate, correct? Huh? Don't play stupid, you said so yourself. One can graduate by committing murder. What he said. Why the guffaw? Because... You're naive, way too naive. You think it's just that easy? Just gotta kill someone? That's hugely naive. Devil devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. Quite the contrary, the real fun starts here. The real fun? Then how about this? Let me tell you about the supplemental rules concerning graduation. As I've explained to you already, you can't graduate unless you kill someone. But in doing so, there was another promise you had to keep too, wasn't there? The sixth rule. The villain who kills one of his companions will be allowed to graduate, provided his crime is not betrayed to the other students. You must not betray to the other students that you are a murdering villain. I believe that's what you are referring to, yes? Bingo! Just killing isn't good enough. You've got to do the deed and get away with it. So, a short while after you are off some poor sucker to see if you satisfy, satisfy some of those conditions, we'll hold a class trial. A class trial? The class trial will begin in a few, a few hours after a corpse has been discovered, during which the murderous villain will have his fierce showdown on the class courtroom, versus the remaining students, the heroes. The question at the tri at trial is, which one of you guys is the super duper high school villain? The answer to that question will be decided by a vote conducted at the end of the trial. If the answer you guys come up with is correct, the order disrupting villain will be punished and everyone else will get to continue their life together. On the other hand, if you, the jury, select the wrong person as the villain, the villain will live on having escaped from his sins, and the rest of the hi you heroes will be punished. If that happens, of course, your lives together will be falsely, forcibly concluded. And that's all there is to the class trial, folks. Um, by the by, this word you keep repeating, punished? How do you mean? Ah, uh, to put it simply, I'm talking executed. Executed? What do you mean, executed? By execution, I mean it. Execution. Execution. Bzz, bzz, in the electric chair, Billo Billo with a poison gas ripped to pieces by a hurricane. In other words, if we're correct in choosing the killer, only the killer will be killed. But if we are wrong, all of us will be executed? Such a smart chimpanzee. But that deadpan appeal of innocence is a nice little trick too. Basically, this is like the lay ju judge system in the outside world. You guys are the ones who decide who the criminal is. However, you can't make that decision lightly. All you guys' lives are, ex are at stake, after all. I'll add all that to the school rules so you can get back, go back and look at it whenever. The school rules have been modified. You can verify the changes from within your electro ID. Wait just a second. This is all, like, totally crazy. Hmm? What's all this crap about class trials? There's no way I'm participating. And why is that? Like, you even need to ask. Why should I have to play this find the culprit game with you? What's this? Someone won't participate with a class trial? then they must be penalised. Huh? Penalised? I'll probably lock you up in a dark and scary prison or something. Quit your blabbing. Even if you threaten me, I'm still not participating. How selfish. You're the one being selfish, making us kill each other? Leave me out of it. With such an overwhelming evil power staring me in the eyes, I'm shaking in my boots. 
But I will not yield to the darkness. Monokuma will always fight to the bitter end. If you truly wish to pass, you must take me down first. As he finished, Monokuma charged, his feet pitter pattering against the floor hard. But... There! Are you happy now? Right back at you. Huh? Violence against the headmaster, Monokuma, is prohibited. This is a violation. Heed my call, O Spear of Legend Gun Gungnir. Come to thy master's aid. Pink screen! What? That doesn't make sense. Why me? In her final moments, Anishima's eyes went wide. And just like that, she never moved again. What? No. You're shitting me. To find out exactly how much shitting is going on, join me for the next episode. It's on the top right, folks. Previous on the top left. Until next time. See ya.